Hello, so today we are watching season one, episode 14, Surprise. So let's just get right into it. I was thinking strawberry. In the shape of a butterfly? Nice touch. I'll give them a call and find out what time our high tide is. Is that, is that the, the sun, sun coming, coming up, up for a second, second time? time? No, no, it's, it's my, my darling daughter. gorgeous daughter. What's going on? What, a father He's can't so admire his daughter? You're not planning anything for tomorrow, are you? Planning? Me? Of course not. You better not be. Planning? <laughs> what would we be planning? He's so cute with his face. I think I'm going to say that every time he's like, cute little happy dad. <laughs> Get side scan sonar. This is a fish detector. Yeah, what's the difference? It's the difference between night and day, Nate. The difference between success and failure. Hey, watch it. Or this is my dad. If anything happens to it, it's not me. what I want. Well, you should have been more specific. I was. You know, I don't think you cut out for this, Nate. Oh, yeah? Says who? You. What are you doing, anyway? You know what? Every time Zane does this little lip looking thing, it makes me cringe. Like, I'm sure it's something that he just like does. It's like a tick that he does or whatever. I don't think he chose to do it for this character, but I think he does it in almost every single episode he's in and I just hate it. I'm on a hunt. And if I find what I'm looking for, I'll rewrite the history books. Hi, Lewis. Emma, hi. Wilfred, uh, just the man I want to see. <laughs> this is the place to find me. Yes, a two-part proposition. Try one to start. Right. Wilfred, how much time have you actually spent on the waves since opening the business? Try none. <laughs> then what can you do? Business is business. Mm. Well, that's all about to change, because you're about to hire me and spend the rest of the day at the beach. Lewis, that's not a bad idea. Yes. Get to it. Wait a minute. You call that a job interview? Uh, yeah. Yeah, work for me, Wilfred. Got all the information I need. I wish I had the confidence that Lewis had to be like, so Wilfred, I need this job. You want to go to the beach? I'm here for the job. Go ahead and go. Okay. <laughs> I'm like so nervous anytime I get a new job. That's why I was at Kohl's for eight years because I just didn't want to leave and have to interview with somewhere new and start somewhere new and you get comfortable with people, it sucks. No, you've got to do it properly. You've got to ask him questions. Like? Lewis, why do you want to work at the Juice Net Cafe? I'm committed to providing fresh juice and friendly service to the masses and I need money quickly. Wilfred, I am prepared to work for as little as $30. A day? An hour. <laughs> That's unrealistic, Lewis. Hmm. Really? Well... Um, parts of my proposal will have to wait until I get some money. I'll get back to you. But I agree with Emma here where it should be like a real interview because what if Lewis isn't actually good with customer service? Like, we love him. He's good with some things. But maybe not juicing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Lewis! Buddy, just the guy I was looking for. See, I've got a problem. Well, let me guess. You're self-centered. You're vain. You're disgustingly rich. Did you just call me Buddy? Lewis. Lewis is like, Look, Buddy, in the past, we, we are not exactly Buddy seen things eye to eye. No, we haven't. But I tend to see the glass as being half full. You tend to see the glass as being something to hit people with. You're trying to be funny, right? I know, it's wasted. Lewis, look, how would you like a job? Job? I need a scientific geek type to try and help me find something. Something. Again, only has friends like Lewis to do something for him because he's smart by just like bribing him. <laughs> like I'll give you this equipment or some money if you'll help me with nerdiness. Could you be a little bit more specific? Oh. Sea monster. Oh. Lewis, there is something out there. He's in the going ocean. to look for the mermaid. And what I need is someone. And when Lewis finds out, he's going to freak out. Like, who knows? Nope, nope, nope. 
side scan sonar, 3D radar modeling software, thermal imaging camera. You're really serious? Yeah. So you want the job? When you say job, is there money involved? Yes, see with money, because Lewis doesn't have a job, so just going along, helping him with the science equipment because he already knows what to do. That sounds nice for some money. <laughs> Even with horrible Zane. What do you think that is? <laughs> Nothing good. Hey! There she is. Last day as a 15-year-old. Let's celebrate. Em, um, it's really it's not your birthday. Why didn't you say anything? Wilfred, we grass smoothies all around, please. Coming right up. And you know what the best part is? I can come to your party this year. Well, there's not going to be a... What's been stopping you? The past few years I've had a swimming comp, but this year I'm ready to party. Great. Can we change your subject now? Cleo's dad throws the best parties. He goes to the works. Jumping castles, clowns, ponies. Of course, we were just kids. What a guy. I wish my dad went all out of my birthday. Your dad's Look, just... there's not going to be a party this year, so can we please just drop it? Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Satori. Yeah? I... Cool. OK, don't tell that. See you then. See? That explains it. That was Cleo's dad. They asked for a party for her. That must be why she's so down. She probably thinks they've forgotten. OK, so do we tell her? No way. For the same money, we can get another balloon folder or a chihuahua dressed as a Renaissance poet who can bark the whole of I Was Made For Loving You. They say Renaissance instead of Renaissance. That's cool. Don, do you think this is the best idea? Bev, I know what Cleo wants and she wants a humdinger of a birthday. Just like last year and the year before. And did you see Cleo's face fun. there in that portrait? Yeah. Probably her last birthday, That's like her 14th maybe. With clowns, so you're ready to be with boys and have makeup and stuff at 14. So, well, I'm sure younger now, but... She doesn't want... I wouldn't want clowns. Well, it's because she's embarrassed with her friends. No, I wouldn't want clowns. <laughs> Man, you're not kidding. I mean, this this is expensive gear. I told you, I don't care about money, Lewis. I'm serious. Now, do you know how to use all this stuff? Of course. I... I mean, I just want to know, what's this about a sea monster? Well, remember a couple of weeks ago when I almost drowned? I saw this. Looks interesting. Keep it. It's a photocopy. The original will be worth something one day. Look at Zane's little picture of the tail that he saw, because that's all he saw was just Emma's tail. He's like, keep it. It'll be worth something one day, like he's Picasso. <laughs> that's so funny. And what is it? Is it some kind of dolphin? No way. You're not going to find that in any book, Lewis. And whatever it is, we're going to catch it. Hey, and... whoa. Stop. And see, I told you, you know about Lewis. He's freaking out. He's like, nope, I'm out. Nope, I'm out. Nope. And Zane's what? like, I'm okay, out. weird. Lewis. But if you think about it, if you really think that mermaids aren't real, then it would make sense that he's the scientist being like, mermaids aren't real. I'm not going down this path with you. Bye. I thought this was scientific. Oh, no. My tail. See? That's why I hang around with you guys, because all, all the other girls at school are like, oh, no, my makeup. Well, this is a valuable lesson. Next time Zane's drowning, drowning. Don't help. Zane's trying to track down a sea monster, and he's offered me a job helping him. That you should take. Well, that's interesting logic that, that could work. Uh, hang on. Two steps back here. Well, Zane's trying to track you down, and you know how not to find us. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies out in the middle of the ocean. So when's he going? Uh, tomorrow. You'll miss Cleo's birthday. Good. Cleo hates her birthday party. She's embarrassed by them. What? Why? Em, how long's it been since you've been to one? A few years ago. Yeah, well, I've been to them all, and believe me, she has good reason. Zane, it's Lewis. We're back on. Let's go find us a sea monster. Let's go find us a sea monster. <laughs> He's so funny. And they think monster, but like, does he not really think mermaid right away? Zane, I mean? I would have thought that was a mermaid tail for sure, not a sea monster. Hello. Happy birthday, Cleo. Happy sweet 16th, sleepyhead. Mm, thanks for reminding me. So what'd you get? Nothing. But thanks for the thought. 
No, go away, please. Well, that went well. Breakfast in bed for the birthday girl. It's your favourite. Pancakes with peanut butter, banana and honey. Can I stay in bed? As long as you like. I love how Cleo asked if she can stay in bed when her mom said breakfast in bed for the birthday girl. Yeah, you either in bed, stay in bed. <laughs> it's really sweet. I remember whenever I was younger, I would make breakfast with my dad and bring it to my mom in bed. But sometimes she'd be like, having to wait there forever for us to get in there and bring it to her. It's so funny. The things you do for your kids. Thank Glad you reconsidered. Well, I do love a good mystery. Did you get the hundred bucks? And see here, Lewis says, you Not got here. the hundred before I jump in there with you? Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I used to have to do that at Coles too. Check it in the light. And it stresses me out because, you know, some people are just mean and be like, oh, you think I stole this money, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you can probably get a fake bill from the ATM. And that stresses me out knowing that I went to the ATM. I didn't steal. And it could be a fake bill. You know what I mean? Okay. Rant over. <laughs> but this is nowhere near Mako. This is nowhere near anything. That's the point. Solitary creature, it doesn't want to be found. Think. I don't think Loch Ness Monster. This is isolated. Right. I'm, I'm telling you, there's monsters here. Right. Hey! Who's, who's the, the geek, geek here? You are? You bet I am. And when it comes to, to monsters, the paranormal, calls himself or geek. anything technological, who are you going to trust? Who are you going to trust? Lewis McCarthy. McCarthy. Oh, the anchor. I always get confused with McCartney and McCarthy on, like, everyone. Melissa, the other people said that last name. <laughs> I blanked on who, like, the boy band person was. Jesse McCartney. That's what that was. This is just how I remember it from when we were kids. It's settling, isn't it? No wonder Cleo didn't like her birthdays. Literally. I think this is supposed to be her 15th. Maybe 16th. Did it already say it? If so, I'll put it in editing, but I don't know. And all those kids running around, that would annoy me. I don't need all those kids running around. I want my friends and probably school friends at that point, you know, not just her three friends, because Emma had a bunch of those girls at that sleepover and episode. Hello, my first pony at Cleo's sixth birthday party. Are we sure three? I can't remember. Birthday? Two. Ricky, this is supposed to be a party. Here you go. Glad you could make it. Is my little gal gonna love this or what? Are you sure that balloon animals and a pony are appropriate? Balloon animals are ageless. She'll love it. You wait till she comes downstairs. She'll be ecstatic. <laughs> Put him up, pal. Where's my heart? Cleo looks so good in that purple outfit for her birthday because I'm sure purple's her favorite color. It looks great on her with her skin tone. And then she goes out there and sees all of her... I don't even know who those people are. All those kids, I mean. Where did she go? Um, I think she just left something at my house yesterday. Probably she'll be back. She better be. I feel kind of bad for the dad because he, it is a thing where your dads don't want you to grow up. I have to remind my dad still how old I'm getting. I've said it in a video before, but I kind of don't want to keep saying my age because I don't think I look that old, so, or like feel like act that old, so I don't want to keep saying how old I am. <laughs> Oh, and Cleo doesn't know about Zane because she's been at home just kind of like hiding out, so she's gonna go like straight past them. Do you ever think about life, Lewis? Like, do you find destiny or does destiny find you? Hmm? Like, things happen for a reason. Please stop. Something weird happened to me, and when I find out what it was, it... Well, well, maybe right now. 
Yeah, maybe I'm on the brink of destiny. What? What was that? Oh, give me a look. Give it to me. It's just a false reading. Look, it's gone. As if I just saw the bleep. Okay, so how crazy that wave was and it moved the whole boat and looked like it went straight under their boat. That really does look like a monster, like the Loch Ness Monster, which they said earlier. God, Cleo, why couldn't she just kind of swim around? Like, she looks kind of low right here, so I don't know how that wave happened earlier, even her going that fast. She had to be right below the surface. She shouldn't do that being a mermaid. <laughs> Uh, do you want me to pull up a reading? No, I want you to do macrame. Look, I'll do it No, no, myself. I've got yeah. it. Zane, I've yeah. got it. Zane, I've got it. Hey! Oh. You idiot! What? You! I can't believe you just did that! I thought you told me and you... I love how Lewis is yelling, like, Zane, you're you! <laughs> oh. Just so that Cleo would go in the water, and now Zane's gonna go in the water. Oh god. How to use this thing? Do you have any idea how expensive it is? I'm gonna have to jump in there after it now. Lewis's smile. I love him so much. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, some kids really annoy me because I don't have any, so, and I've never had to babysit, like, ever I was the baby. <laughs> so, if that kid was blowing that thing in my face like that constantly, when there's a whole party going on, nah, I probably would have taken it too and been like, go. <laughs> I don't understand what's keeping Cleo at your place. Well, you know how my mum likes to talk. But she knows this is all here. I mean, who can resist a pony? Kim just said whip the pony to go faster. Wow. She really is evil. Uh, can I make a small point, Mr. Satori? Claire's kind of grown up lately. She's not the same girl as, say, Kim. Yep, true. But all girls love ponies. Do, Do I, I look like, like the kind of girl, girl that would be caught, caught dead, dead on, a on a pony? Not really. No. Figure it out. <laughs> Ricky's so funny. But I'm glad she said something because, like I said, I have to remind my dad sometimes how old I am, so... I'm not a kid. This is rented, Lewis. Rented! I'm sorry, how many times do I have to say that I am sorry? This better be covered by insurance. I love how Lewis just kind of sneaks off like all sketchy as crap. Like I know he wants to find Cleo and talk to her, but that's gonna send Zane literally right out to her. Cleo! All right! All right! Keep your voice down. Don't worry, the mate head's not with me. Then why are you whispering? Oh, you know, he's what just checking up on Zane? her because he knows it's her birthday. Why was she out there story. alone? Why are you at your birthday Probably party? knows she should be at her party, so... Did everyone yeah, know see. about my stupid party except me? Don't let it get you down. Easy for you to say. You don't have a dad who still thinks you're six years old. At least she has a family that really loves her. But yeah, see, like, she's six, so she must be 16 here, maybe. No. Claire, I want you to meet me at the juice net at 5.30, hmm? Hey, Geekinoi! Hey, Geekoid. Oh my god. He's so mean, dude. Where are you? Claire, I'm at the juice net at 5.30. I'm here! What are you doing? Call of Major! Happy birthday, Claire. Here's the thing. She wanted him to say happy birthday at least just now, but she's the one who's been hiding her birthday the whole time, Xing it out on the calendar. So he, he's still thinking, like, you don't want to hear it, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'll find you later at the juice net. It'll be birthday then. I feel like I'm kind of like Cleo. Like, I would want to be left alone or have just my friends. But 
I still would want someone to say happy birthday and get me something. <laughs> Think about me. You found her. And she'll definitely be there, you're sure? And I'm not gonna lie, I hate what Lewis is wearing right here. I think I prefer his just like casual shorts, Fisher look. <laughs> Maybe it's the shirt, I don't know. Surprise! See, look, here's a party for her. All of her school friends. Happy birthday, Cleo. Happy birthday, Cleo. You did all this. It was all this. What do you think I needed the money for? Happy birthday, Cleo. Oh, he wanted the money to throw her this party. He rented it out because he just got her a balloon animal <laughs> so you, that Lois. he didn't spend money on that. That was just from her original party. <laughs> That's so sweet. He knew that that was going to happen, so he got this party already like planned out for her. That's sweet. Here's going to be our I'm little sorry, dad God. moment. I had to get away. You know why. Lewis called me. How was the party? It was really good. You can't really stay upset at your you daughter whenever come. it's her birthday and you she actually have. ended up happy. You're not a little girl of anymore. Party. Yeah. He's just sad she's growing, growing up. up. See? You're growing up. Leaving me behind. Better than Kim. <laughs> of course. She actually I'm understands your girl. more and Kim is just a brat. I always will be. Really? But maybe colored ball shouldn't feature so heavily in our relationship anymore. Ball pit, unless you like go somewhere for it, like a gymnastics place and rent that out. I wouldn't, I don't want a ball pit at a party for me. I've actually never say? had someone throw like a surprise party for me to where like, I think we're just like going out to eat somewhere or maybe going to like the bar that I normally go to. One last time. Look at how cute, they jumped into the ball pit. Okay, so that was season one, episode 14, surprise, which now I remember, of course, it's her surprise birthday party. <laughs> um, the next one, episode 15, is the big chill. And I can see the thumbnail for it, so I do remember this next one as well. And we start seeing more of like their powers again kind of coming back instead of more like drama it's more crazy power time again like when Ricky was really mad and was using her heating powers and probably gonna kill the person in dangerous waters the creeper now someone else's turn might almost kill someone that's all I'll say about that you gotta watch it now I hope you subscribed. We hit 101 subscribers. I was trying to get to 100 because I was at the lowest I remember being at the beginning of this year was 75 subscribers. And so I was like, okay, let's just get to 100. Let's get there. We got this. Got to 88, 92. We finally reached 101. And I made a little post about it and said, 101 Dalmatia, I mean subscribers. <laughs> just being funny but thank you so much um if you're actually here and watch all my h2o videos can you please like and comment for me so i know because even though i see some people comment and i have gotten some new subscribers i still feel like i'm alone i don't have anyone comment for me and i would like to talk to people in my comments I actually comment back you know i don't have a lot of subscribers right now so i can actually comment to everyone that wants to talk to me so please comment subscribe like the video and I will see you in the next one. So yeah.